guys welcome back to this day that year in 2 minutes goes the heart all the time and if it doesn't it has to be set right with something called a pacemaker what simply put the pacemaker maintains the pace of the heart so that it can continue to pump blood to all parts of the body Oh, I see where this is going. On this day in 1958, Sultan placed the first fully implantable heart pacemaker into a human patient. The history of using electricity to stimulate and regulate the heartbeat was more than half a century old when Eric Senning, a cardiac surgeon at Sweden's Karolinska University Hospital, implanted a pacemaker into heart patient Arne Larsson. Unfortunately, it failed after 3 hours. A second pacemaker was implanted, and this one went on for 2 days before giving out. The pacemaker was developed under Sennett's direction by inventor and physician Rune Enquist. Employing two transistors, the device, roughly the size of a hockey puck, was implanted into a subcutaneous pouch, then rigged to get the desired electric pulses to the cardiac muscle. Battery life is the great limiting factor for pacemakers. Modern day devices use lithium iodide as the standard encased in titanium to help insulate the circuitry from bodily fluids. Did you know Larsen, the first person to receive a pacemaker, survived 24 faulty pacemakers in his lifetime of 86 long years. And that's this day that year in 2 minutes. Until tomorrow.